kind of dictate pace when it's gotten off to a difficult start. How often to switch that? Um, it's not hard, you know. When you off to a slow start, you gotta play faster. Um, so you, situation that you realize once you're in. Not going, not trying to get you fine, but just you know, see how you were aggressive. Like you had. You had your drives, you had your heart attacks, and then you're trying to guard Brandon, you're trying to guard Zion. Like, what did you feel like was the difference between, you know, how you were trying to approach the mask versus what was so successful for the Pelicans offense? Um, I mean, it's just, it's frustrating. You know, it's frustrating um, for a guy who constantly gets um, hit, whether it's jump shots, attacking the basket. I mean, it's, it's just frustrating. You know, it's, it's deeper than what, honestly, I can answer, um, to be honest. Because um, if I answer it, I get fined for it. Yeah. Um, and it continues, it's a continuous thing that, that happens. Um, so I honestly, quite frankly, I don't know, um, honestly, what else to do. Like, you know, you, you try to be aggressive to go make plays and you, I guess, you know, you just you gotta be perfect. Where did you where did you see the team find those moments of success defending Brandon, or defending Zion? Uh, I mean, I guess just uh, you know those two guys. You gotta you gotta keep a body in front. They're so good. You give them an angle um, to take those angles and, and you know punish you for it. Um, so those guys, you gotta you, you gotta you know as tough as it is, you gotta force. Uh, them to make just tough shots, uh, and by that you gotta keep the body in front. Um, like I say, any angle you give them, they're um, so good at creating off of that. Um, that you know, now if they have the advantage. Um, but if you can keep the body in front and force them to just have to make shots over you, um, you know, it's, it's kind of in our favor. Because you've played every game this season, does the five and seven change anything for you with your post tomorrow? Or do you expect to be uh, good to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm healthy. Uh, body feels good. So, uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. Now. Yeah, so on that point, just, I mean, obviously you've, you've had some big games so far this season. How do you feel health wise just compared to, um, you know, last year? I uh, feel good. I feel good. You know, every day is um, a day trying to tackle how can I improve and get my body prepared for the next day. Um, and I've been off to a great start. So, uh, I think what I've been doing is working. Just continue on with the process. I take Pete, more questions. Pete, uh, tonight you guys got up 37 threes. It was the second most you guys have taken in a game this season. I know late you guys were taking some to kind of claw back a little bit. What have you made of the team's like shot quality on getting on generating those threes? Like, is it where you want it to be? Do you want it to get a little bit better? Uh, we can get a little bit better. I mean, for the most part, I think we generate good open threes. Um, but, you know, there's obviously some uh, that you wish you can get back. Um, I know myself personally wish there's some that I can take back. Um, but I think we're getting good quality shots. I think um, we'll start, you know, the more and more those shots become available, the better I think we'll get with those because um, we'll just be used to it. It'll be, you know, kind of a second nature thing. Uh, we know what shots we're going to get. Um, so I think, you know, our efficiency should go up over time. All right, last question. Thank you, PG. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.